It's Junk Wax Genius. It's the channel on YouTube where a grown man <laughs> opens old baseball cards and talks about it. What? It's true. Today, our two packs are 1989 Bowman, the comeback edition, the extra, extra tall cards, the long boys, 89 Bowman, and 1994 Score Select, Series 1. Uh, we've talked about Score Select before. These are packs that come from a numbered box out of a numbered case, so we know... Uh, we can do some arithmetic and figure out exactly how many of each base card there are. And so I think it's about 86,000. Seems like a big number, but that's relatively short print for 1994, kind of the end of the junk wax era when these things came slamming to a halt and the brands got their act together. So let's do 89 Bowman and 1994 Score Select on this episode of Junk Wax Genius. This is uh, True Junk Wax. It's in wax paper. It's got the bubble gum. It's got both qualities everybody wants in, um, like, inherent card destruction. Got a satchel page promotional card there. Uh, kind of a fun guessing game. Can you identify the guy by, I was going to say by their mustache. <laughs> that would be a nice signature, a nice calling card. Uh, as unique as the human fingerprint, the mustache. That's Mike, what, Birkbeck? Yep. Uh, Rafael Ramirez, Jamie Moyer, I forget he was a Ranger. Okay. Jimmy Jones, Jimmy Jones, okay. There's John Smoltz, that's a beautiful card. Smoltzy, nice. There's Brett Saberhagen, Frank Viola, Gary Reedus, Lonnie Smith, Raphael Santana, Cal Ripken, and kind of washed out by the uh, by the uniform, but I'm going to say Shane Raleigh. Shane Raleigh? Yes. I, uh, but, uh, you know, not a bad pack. In our Bowman, then we get Cal Ripken Jr. and John Smoltz, both with some very nice, respectable cursive signatures. I like that. There's our 89 Bowman. Let's do 1994 Score Select Series 1. You get 12 cards per pack behind this tamper-proof foil wrapping. There are some insert cards. Pause your screen. I'll get my fat fingers out of the way. And let's see what we get in 1994 Score Select. Beautiful cards. I love opening these. I did not open them uh, when they first came out, so this is kind of my first, my first go. Oh, that's not a good sign. A little brickin', a little stickin'. A rookie prospect there is Kurt Abbott. Hall of Famer Tim Raines with the Oakleys. I love the Oakleys. And it looks like a pair like stuck in the net behind the BP cage. That's awfully cavalier. Tim Raines. There's Dave Stewart. Backwards ball cap and all. Dave Magadan wearing that beautiful Marlins teal. Andy Van Slyke. Pat Mears. Chuck Carr having a good laugh. Oh, he's catching snow in his tongue. Wearing a starter jacket. All right. Go, Chuck. Jeff Conine, again, with the Marlins teal. Mike Blowers. Here's Bob Tewksbury. Paul Molitor. Nice card there. And David Cohn. Let's, uh, let's take a closer look at Paul Molitor. They're celebrating what I can only assume is some kind of playoff win. Congratulations, Paul Molitor, on that victory. I, I love the tone-on-tone -tone photo there. I like the use of the gold foil to put the name in negative space. Instead of having the letters as the gold foil, they put the gold foil around the letters. And a uh, quick look at the uh, most recent year of stats and the career totals, a little bio information that we would get from the SCORE brand. Beautiful card, Paul Molitor, to go along with Cal Ripken Jr. and John Smoltz on this episode of Junk Wax Genius, the show on YouTube where a grown man opens old baseball cards and remembers some guys. Please do like, subscribe, um, tell the kids, wake the wife, brag to the neighbors. Uh, you saw Junk Wax Genius on YouTube, and they can too. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.